Astro on location. I'm here in San Marino, just about to get the funicular up to the top. I want to check it out. What do you know about San Marino? I don't know very much. Stay tuned. The funicular or cableway connects Borgo Maggiore and its big parking with the old town. The trip only takes a few minutes and you get a great view uh, of the Adriatic coast while you're on your way up. I've learned that San Marino is the oldest republic in the world. And welcome to San Marino, to the oldest and smallest republic that we have in the world. I don't know, maybe it is the first time that you come here uh, for someone possible or a uh, case. Uh, I hope it will be a nice discovery. Just uh, taken some brochure and also city maps uh, to give to you. Uh, so you have also uh, an idea of the capital where we are, the center, because now we are in the historical center that is called San Marino, like the Republic. Did you get one? No? Okay. 33,000. And they are concentrated mainly in the, in the, we say in the new cities uh, that you crossed by coach uh, coming from Rimini. I know. The public palace right in front of me is where the official ceremonies take place and is the seat of San Marino's main institutional and administrative bodies. The neo Gothic, uh, uh, the building, uh, the government palace was completely. Uh, restored and the facade was changed by an important Roman architect, Guy Aulenti, at the, at the end of last century. He arrived from Rome and he wanted to embellish, to decorate the facade. But you can see that. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> no. In Latin, written up there, libertas means free. San Marino is free from Italy and can be free from Europe. It has the choice. There's a wedding going on up there. A, a beautiful place to have a wedding. Napoleon was invited uh, at the time uh, by the two captains, uh, but they all found a very small country, a very poor country, because uh, if you consider that also now we live uh, mainly thanks to the tourism, and also we have uh, a small industrial quarter, but in the past, the territory was very poor. Uh, uh, you see here the rocks, uh, so uh, not too interesting uh, for, many, uh, for many people to come here and to be conquered. Uh, and San Marino, in any case, is inside Italy, so without Italy, <laughs> couldn't be uh, uh, the same, so the same republic. Uh, 33,000 San Marinesi, we say San Marinesi, and nine are the cities composing the republic. Uh, the capital where we are, the name is San Marino, where you arrived, where we have taken the, ca the cable way, Borgo Maggiore, San Marino, the capital together, Borgo Maggiore, have been included in the UNESCO World Heritage List. You say maybe why? Because of the beauty uh, of the landscape and also the ancient tradition of Marinos. So always Catholic, uh, Catholic origins. Uh, uh, Don't they look amazing? Excellent uniform, great hat. These are the blue guys. Come with me. These are the guys in green, the policemen of the city. Is that right? Ah, Guarda di Rocca, the name of the coach. Yes, Guarda di Rocca. Guarda di Rocca. Guarda di Rocca. Thank you. The one of the oldest uh, coach in San Marino. Brilliant. This is the Basilica of St. Marinus. Um, certain Marinus came from Croatia and it was him who was who the Republic was named after. Inside the seven altars and under the main altar is the statue of St. Marinus uh, and a small urn contains his bones. I'm here at the top just near Tower 1 or the, the first tower, Tower Torre Maggiore. Uh, that's up behind me. Uh, it was first referred to a tower in 12, something like 1253. Even up into the 1960s, it was used as a prison. Uh, 
you can understand the uh, both the picturesque and the strategic importance of San Marino. Uh, you can see for miles around. You can see even over here to the Adriatic Sea uh, and Rimini out behind me. Okay, so that's Rimini out there. Uh, what else can I say about um, San Marino? Population of about 33,000, 61 square kilometers all in total. Very small. Uh, it, along with places like uh, Monaco, like the Vatican City, like uh, these provinces pop up throughout Europe uh, due to their history, the history of Europe and what it was like before some unit. Uh, or the major fortress uh, that's up behind me. Uh, like a lot of uh, towers and uh, buildings has a small church inside uh, dedicated to dedicated to uh, the Saint Barbara who was the patron saint of the artillery used as a fortress obviously it's all in the name uh, the second tower is there it is it's the highest point on uh, the mountain uh, at about 750 meters above sea level uh, at the moment, it has a museum of uh, artillery weapons and things like this. About 700 are on display. And this is the third tower of uh, San Marino. So the three towers, they can be seen on the flag. They can be, come to be a symbol of, the, uh, of, of this uh, state. In keeping with the theme of being a fortress, Lots of the souvenirs in San Marino are uh, military, like this. Plus, there's loads of leather goods to buy, including handbags and wallets.